Hey guys, my name is Misty Marie. I live in Los Angeles, California. Uh, the things that were most important to me when I was 10 uh, were boys, boobs, and my period. Boys, because I've always been super boy crazy, I always thought boys were cute, I also play those games in the playground, like, hey, get you, tag you, get the boys. Um, boobs, because I was definitely an early uh, sprouter. I got my boobs sooner than a lot of girls, and so I, that was my like claim to fame. Misty's got boobs, hey, you got boobs, I got boobs, we all got boobs. You know, it's so, way, hey, boobs. Bra shopping, um, that was always something that was important to me because I got one first. And um, lastly was my period, and huge, huge mistake. I remember I was talking to my grandmother like, oh, you know, period, she told me it was easy, wouldn't feel anything, big lie. But I remember I used to be in class just so excited, so anticipating it and telling my guy friends like, oh, I, oh, I feel it, it's coming, it's coming now, you know, raise my hand, go to class, I mean, go to the bathroom, talk to the teacher like, um, I go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom. Um, go to the bathroom, come back with my head down, like, oh no, I didn't get it back. They even asked, like, did you get it yet? And I think that's funny, because I, I don't think they had the, the whole idea of what the period was at that time, so they were much more supportive than I think they should have been. But yeah, I just remember being super excited about that. Now I call them baby zombies, because they're just like whipping and clawing out of your uh, uterus, just scratching its way out. Little baby zombies. But then I was super excited. Boys, boobs, and my period. All right, I'm going to begin my scene now. I think we need to set some ground rules. Okay. My father is off limits. So is my taste in music and my ass. Your ass is beautiful. Exactly, which is why it's off limits. What am I going to do about the ice shack? What do you want to do? You didn't actually see anything. And how are you going to explain what you were doing in Seatown Woods after midnight in the freezing cold? I could tell the truth that I was sitting in a parked car snogging with the golden boy of Happy Town. His grandmother, the mayor. My grandmother used to dance for the money they'd throw. His father owns a bread factory. My father owns a meth lab. Great way to guarantee I'm never allowed out of the house again. I'm just over this whole Romeo and Juliet thing. I know, but it's not going to be like this forever. Right. Eventually, a meteor will hit planet Earth, wiping out humanity as we know it, and then you and I will be able to hold hands in public. I love you so much. Most of the time, I don't even know what day it is. It's grow a pair day. I'm late for practice. Can I see you later? June. Can I see you later? Fine. You bring the poison, I'll bring the dagger.